In the next five years, artificial intelligence is anticipated to reach unprecedented levels of sophistication and capability. Propelled by advancements in technology like e-learning and reinforcement learning, these advancements will enable AI systems to process enormous quantities of data and make autonomous decisions without human intervention. By the end of this narrative, you will have a clear understanding of AI's potential evaluation in the next half decade. So let's embark on a journey to envision the future capabilities of AI. Presently, AI is making significant strides in numerous aspects of daily life. From virtual assistants such as Siri and Alexa that facilitate tasks and provide information, to the algorithms on streaming platforms that curate our viewing choices, AI has become an ambiguous presence. Through machine learning systems are capable of learning and improving from experience without being explicitly programmed. In the healthcare domain, AI aids in diagnosing illnesses by analyzing medical images and predicting patient outcomes. In the realms of finance, AI-driven fraud detection algorithms secure transactions and prevent unauthorized activities. AI also enhances the efficiencies of manufacturing processes through predictive maintenance, thus minimizing downtime by foreseen equipment failures. Additional social media platforms use AI for content personalization, ensuring users encounter posts and ads align with their interests. The development of autonomous vehicles equipped with complex algorithms for safe navigation marks a significant leap forward. As we look ahead to the next five years, AI's exponential growth is set to amplify its influence across various sectors, heralding advancements that could reshape our work, living, technological interactions. Let's delve into specific areas where AI impact is poised to be profound. So imagine a world where factories predict their own maintenance needs and optimize production in real time, all thanks to AI. This isn't science fiction. It's the imminent, fa it's the imminent future of manufacturing. Dive into how AI is set to revolutionize the industry, from cutting edge predictive anal analytics to sustainable practices that redefine efficiencies and quality. The future of manufacturing starts now. The manufacturing industry stands on the brink of a major transformation drive by AI. Beyond mere automation and predictive maintenance, AI will enable real-time optimization of production lines, adjusting processes dynamically based on various factors like supply chain fluctuations and demand forecasts. The intelligent optimization leads to not only enhanced efficiency, but also significant reduction in waste, contributing to more sustainable manufacturing practices. Furthermore, AI's role in quality control will evolve from defect detection to predictive quality measures, anticipating issues before they occur based on the patterns learned from vast databases. The integration of AI with Internet of Things devices will provide manufacturers with unprecedented insights into their operations, enabling smarter decision-making and innovation. As AI technologies mature, we can expect them to catalyze the development of new manufacturing methodologies, including high customized product on demand, which could redef redefine consumer expectations and marketing dynamics or market dynamics. I know this may sound controversial, but you are not going to be able to keep AI out of the classrooms. The classroom of the future is where education is not one size fits all, but a personalized journey for every student. AI is transforming learning from a traditional model to an immersive, customized experience that adapts to individual needs and paces. Discover how the fusion of AI and education is unlocking potential in ways we've never seen before, making learning more effective, engaging, and accessible to all. So AI and education. In the educational sector, AI's impact over the next five years will be transformative, particularly in customizing and enhancing learning experiences. Beyond adapting to individual learning styles, AI will facilitate immersive learning environments using argumented and virtual reality, making complex concepts more accessible and engaging for students. This personalized and immersive approach is expected to significantly improve learning outcomes and retention rates. In addition, AI will streamline administrative tasks for educators, from grading assignments to manufacturing curriculum, allowing teachers more time to focus on student engagement and personalized instructions. AI's capabilities will also extend to language learning, offering real-time translation services and language practices. 
thus breaking down language barriers in education. So you can literally teach in, every, in any language you want to teach in, and it should be able to translate it. So we shouldn't have a barrier where learning where the language barrier is then a problem. The global reach of AI enhanced education will make high quality learning materials accessible to students worldwide, potentially equalizing educational opportunities across different socioeconomic statuses. In the world on the brink of an AI revolution, the very fabric of the job market is about to be torn apart and rewoven. Now I know this is the biggest issue around most people's thinking is that AI is gonna take over your job. As machines learn to do human jobs with unnerving efficiencies, where does that leave us? Dive into the heart of the debate. Will AI be the architect of an economic renaissance or the harbinger of an unemployment crisis? The future is not written. It's time to decide which side of history we'll stand on. So economic development and job creation. The economic implications of AI over the next five years are vast. AI's roles in automating routine tasks will not only increase efficiency, but also simulate job creation in new technology-driven uh, sectors. This shift will require a rethinking of job roles and the education system to prepare the workforce for a future where digital literacy and AI-related skills are paramount. So the normal way of preparing our kids to go out into the job market is going to have to change, and that's the reason why I say education is so important. You're going to have to teach the kids in an AI world to prepare themselves for an AI world in the workplace. Can't teach them the same way you used to teach before. Moreover, AI will enable the development of new products and services, opening up markets and creating demand for jobs that do not yet exist. The transition to an AI-powered economy will be challenging, necessitating policies that support workforce restraint and education reform. Successful integration of AI will depend on a collaborative effort between governments, educational institutions, and businesses to ensure that the workforce is ready and able to navigate the changes brought about by AI advancements. Now, you know my thinking around government. I'm not too sure about them. I'm not too sure that the governments of this world can come together to govern and put together a framework in which AI should be developed. I think AI is running rampant and it's going to lead to problems further on, socioeconomic problems further on down the line. But I'll deal with that in another video. Imagine a day when your coffee brews just as you wake up. Your fridge orders groceries before you know you're out and your home knows your every preference. But at what cost? As AI seeps deeper into the fabric of our daily lives, promising convenience and efficiency, it also whispers questions about privacy, surveillance and dependencies. Are we walking towards a utopia of smart living or sleepwalking into a dystopian future where privacy is the price of convenience? So what does AI look like in our daily life? The penetration of AI into our daily lives will deepen. That's a given. It's going to happen making smart homes more intuitive and personalized. Everybody likes a smart home, but I've seen the movies where the home attacks the, the, the occupants. So keep that in mind. AI will not only manage household tasks, thank you very nicely, but also anticipate needs, adjusting lighting and in temperature, or suggesting meals based on health data and personal preferences. If somebody jumps, it would be so cool if somebody said, look, this is what you need to eat to stay healthy. And if I don't like it, I can obviously overrule it. The level of personalization extends to entertainment, where AI algorithms will curate content uniquely suited to each viewer's taste. However, the increasing presence of AI raises significantly privacy and ethical concerns. The balance between convenience and surveillance, personalized experience versus data security, will be at the forefront of public discourse. Engaging with these technologies responsibly will require robust regulated frameworks to protect individuals' rights without stifling or without stifling innovation. Again, a robust framework. I don't know where, how those guys are going to put it together. I honestly can't see it happening. I hope it happens. It has to happen. But if it doesn't happen, I won't be surprised. Everybody goes and does their own thing and AI then just eventually starts taking over. The evolution of AI in our daily lives will challenge our notions of privacy, given Require a, requiring a collective effort to ensure technology serves the greater good. Now again, it boils around ethics, it boils around models, it boils around governance. These are things, 
in the chase to be number one in the chase for billions in revenue, unfortunately, I think, in my opinion, is busy taking a backseat. And it's going to continue to take a backseat for a long time as AI advances. And in the next five years, if there's no proper framework around it, it's really, really going to blow out of, out of proportion. As AI stands guard, ready to shield us with unparalleled surveillance and predictive policing, a shadow looms large, the specter of a surveillance state. And nobody wants to live in under surveillance state. With the power to predict and prevent, AI promises a safer future, but at what costs? Are we on the brink of security utopia or teetering on the edge of a nightmare? Where every move is monitored and every anomaly is scrutinized, the line between safety and freedom has never been more blurred. So what about AI and safety and security? AI's advancements will notably bolster both physical and cybersecurity. In physical security, AI will enhance surveillance capabilities using facial recognition and anomaly detection to prevent unauthorized access and identify potential threats more swiftly. They are using facial recognition. They're using facial recognition in wars at the moment, um, which, is, which can be good and can also be bad. Um, I'm still on the fence on that particular one. Um, and... I think if you're using surveillance within a local policing environment to pick up individuals that are operating outside of the law, I'm probably all for that. But this constant surveillance and being under constant scrutiny, I'm not quite certain I want to live in a world like that, even at the expense of safety. In cybersecurity, AI's and ability to analyze vast data sets will be crucial in identifying and responding to threats in real time outpacing traditional security measures. The dynamic nature of cyber threats requires AI systems that can learn and adapt to new tactics employed by cyber criminals, ensuring digital environments are safe for users and organizations. Additionally, AI will play a key role in disaster response, analyzing data from various sources to predict and mitigate the effects of natural disasters and coordinating responsive efforts more efficiently to save lives. The ethical use of AI in safety and security, particularly concerning surveillance and privacy, will be a critical role for policy and regulation. Beyond the confines of Earth, AI is set to pioneer the final frontier, steering us into the cosmos with precision and intelligence once sought the domain of science fiction. Anybody seen Star Wars? From navigating uncharted planets to managing extraterrestrial colonies, AI is a key to unlocking mys mysteries of space that have baffled humanity for centuries. Embark on a journey where AI not only explores the void, but becomes our indispensable partner in the cosmos. Sounds something like um, Star Trek, doesn't it? Did they mention extraterrestrial colonies? Do those actually exist? Oh, we don't know. How AI will work with this is space exploration and robotics. The role of AI in space exploration and robotics is set to expand significantly. AI technologies will not only automate routine tasks aboard spacecraft and planetary bases, but also conduct scientific research, operating with a level of autonomy previously unimaginable. These AI-driven robots and drones will explore celestial bodies, analyzing geological and atmospheric data to unlock the mysteries of the cosmos. The potential for AI to manage habits in space, ensuring the well-being of astronauts of future colonists by monitoring life support systems and adapting to the needs, adapting to the needs of the inhabitants, represents a significant step towards long-term human presence in space. They still want to establish a colony on Mars? They still want people to move up there? Really? Did they not see the Martian? However, the use of AI in designing spacecraft and mission planning will reduce risks and costs, making space exploration more accessible and frequent. The ethical consideration of sending AI into space, including the non-contamination of celestial bodies, will be an important aspect of future space missions. Imagine a world where every treatment is tailored to your genetic blueprint and predictive diagnostics preempting illnesses before symptoms manifest. This but I like. This is just not 
the next chapter in healthcare. It's a new paradigm where AI and human expertise merge to save lives and herald unprecedented advances in medical science. Step into the future of healthcare, where AI's precision and insight revolutionize everything from diagnosis to treatment, promising a new era of personalized medicine. So what is this healthcare revolution? The healthcare industry will witness a revolution powered by AI, with technologies enabling not just enhanced diagnostics and treatment plans, but also managing patient care and the healthcare system more broadly. AI will facilitate the analysis of patient data, from genetic information to lifestyle factors to provide personal, personalized healthcare solutions. And additionally, AI's role in managing healthcare resources, predicting outbreaks and optimizing care delivery will improve the efficiency and responsiveness of healthcare systems or healthcare services for that matter. The potential for AI to support mental health through chatbots and monitoring apps offers new avenues for providing care to those in need. As AI becomes more ingrained in healthcare, ethical considerations around patient data privacy, consent, and the role of AI in decision-making processes will be paramount. Ensuring that AI enhances the healthcare system without compromising human values will be a key challenge. As we stand on the precipice of achieving artificial general intelligence, which is AGI, we face a paradox of progress. The closer we get to creating machines that think like us, the more we must question what it means to be human. Will AGI be mankind's greatest achievement, ushering an era of unfathomable progress, or our ultimate folly, challenging the very essence of human uniqueness? In this race towards AGI, we are unlocking the secrets of the universe, or, in my opinion, I think we're opening up Pandora's box. So what is this towards AGI thing? The path towards achieving artificial general intelligence, or AGI, over the next five years will be marked by significant milestones. AGI represents a paradigm shift in AI capabilities, enabling systems to perform any intellectual task that the human can. Achieving AGI will require breakthrough in understanding human cognition and translating this into computata in computational models. The potential of AGI to revolutionize industries, solve complex global challenges, and enhance our understanding of the universe is immense. However, the path to AGI is fraught with ethical and societal implications including the risk of autonomous systems making decisions in critical areas of life and potential, and there's huge potential for misuse. So I don't want autonomous systems making decisions on my behalf. I don't want autonomous systems deciding if I should go to war or not. I don't want autonomous systems launching nuclear weapons because they feel that's the right thing to do. And I think that's a dilemma. That's a Pandora's box that I'm, that I'm, that I'm alluding to. Imagine autonomous decisions making decisions whether you should be arrested for a crime or not, whether you're guilty or not, whether you're innocent or not, whether you should be doing something, whether what you did was incorrect and therefore you should be punished for it. Imagine autonomous decisions making decisions on my behalf on what I should eat and what I can eat, what I should do and what I can do. And that is my big worry at the moment if we are going down this route to open up Pandora's box. The flip side of that is that it can be positive. I'm yet to be convinced of where that positivity lies, and there will be positive. I mean, the positivity around, around healthcare, where, where a doctor doesn't pick up that a patient has cancer, and AI picks up that the patient has cancer, and the decision is that they need to operate. I agree with that, but there's other areas where I'd be very, very careful in opening up this box. The development of AGI will require a global conversation on governance, ethical use, and the societal impacts of such a powerful technology. Balancing the benefits of AGI with the risk it poses will be one of the most significant challenge, challenges of the next five years. And there's one more area that I didn't mention um, in the use of AI, and that is going to be in the, in the sports realm where AGI is going to play an important part in how sportsmen are prepared, in how games are analyzed, and how tactics are revolutionized and changed. So can you imagine a coach 
have been coming up with a tactic based on vast amounts of data that they have on the other teams and be able to feed it into AI and AI will be able to come up with a tactic that will assist teams in winning, that will assist our athletes in winning. And the worry I have with that is that it will then become very robot robotic. But the cool thing about that is, can you imagine if, if, AI, if, if Liverpool is playing Man City and the AI comes up with a solution on how to manage Kevin De Bruyne? So they know at certain times when Kevin De Bruyne receives the ball, he's either going to turn, he's going to turn to his left. And if you tell the defender to, the, to, do, to, to watch out for that, they can preempt it. They know that at certain times where De Bruyne is going to pass the ball too. If you can cut off those avenues, you'll be able to cut off a player's ability to, to influence a game. So what's happening is that AI is influencing the game, but it's not going to be only around tactics and it's not only going to be around player analysis. It's also going to be around what diets players player should be on. It's also going to be around how often players can play, and how often they should be playing, how many miles they run, when it is time for them to need a rest, when it is time for them to go a little bit harder. I'm going to cover that in, an, in a video coming up soon. But I just wanted to mention that in the realm of sport, there is a potential where AI can be used. Like I said, my worry is that it could become very robotic. In my opinion, Formula One is, is robotic. The guys are great, believe me. I know the guys are going to, people are gonna, out there are going to slate me for this. But I miss the days of Ayrton Senna, Nigel Mansell, Prost. Those were real drivers. Those were guys that got into each other's faces. If I look at what the guys, what the racers are doing today, they're all at the same level. Put them in a similar car and they should all do uh, very, very well. But they're very robotic in, in what they need to do. They know they need to hit that corner at a certain speed. They know they need, need to hit that time limit. They need So the, the worry that I have is that in bringing AI into, into a field like Formula One, and I guarantee you it's there already, it's going to make it even more and more, more robotic. But um, it's going to be a fascinating discussion, uh, one that I want to tackle in, in, in one of my videos, upcoming videos. But um, this has been fun. You have been on Insight with Zaid. Thanks for hanging out.